In today's episode we sandblast the floor, paint the floor and make more holes in the floor. Bright and early, uh, got a chap coming around to sandblast the floor. Just made up a little shelter just so that it doesn't create absolute chaos. Hopefully it'll be alright. Let you know later. So that's the sandblasting all done. A few little bits of sealant, but you know what? I think if it's still on after this amount of time, I'll leave it on. Uh, there's a few little bits, a few little repairs to do. But what I'm gonna do first of all, is get some paint on there to protect it. We don't want to spend all this money getting it sandblasted and then have rust come back through. Okay, so uh, let's get painting. So I'm going to be using this epoxy mastic steel renovation paint from Rust Buster. So it's equal parts of these two tins and then 5 to 20% of the thinner. So I'm going a little bit more towards the 20% on the thinner because I have read that this can go on quite thick. Wow, so uh, someone said online this goes on thick. I mean, this is really thick, really thick. Okay, so uh, get it all mixed up and see how it goes. Yeah, that's the floor pan just about finished I'm sure when I turn it over I'll find some bits that I've missed but uh, I need to move that out of the way and then start on the front end so busy painting cracking on unfortunately the uh, paint that I've got uses a lot of air uh, so my compressor can't quite keep up with it so what better thing to do whilst you're waiting for compressor to charge up than sort out this hellhole. Wish me luck. Quick progress check. Uh, we've replaced this because the one that was on there originally didn't have these returns or this strengthening plate. Okay, so we have one cut off another piece, so that's been welded in, but that caused us big issues uh, with the other side and getting everything to line up with the subframe. So we've had to make some adjustments on the other side as well. Um, a few little holes that we found been repaired. Next job is repair this section here. And then I'm hoping that's the floor finished. We'll get that all painted up ready. Meanwhile, over to Colin. 
and we've marked out where the heel board goes and then drilled, drilled some holes ready to plug weld from the inside when we get to do that. It's a little bit off as you can see down here from the original heel board. I'm just putting that down to uh, getting a heel board or getting a, a repaired floor off of an old car I'm putting it on another old car and it's not quite lining up but main thing is it lines up with the subframe so let's see how we get on tomorrow right let's see if we can get this floor all uh, welded in wish us luck So we've roughly positioned the floor. So that's nearly lining up. We'll get that all sorted out soon. Uh, so I think the next thing is to bolt in the rear subframe so that we know that it's in the right place. Maybe position the front subframe as well. Just sit, sit it in there and see if it's all lining up. As we can see, we've got a few alignment issues. So I'll get the rears bolted in first, and then we can try and get the front lined up. Whilst we continue to faff around and get the floor to fit properly onto the Mini, I think it's as good a time as any to stop this episode and we'll move on and carry on to the next episode where you'll get to see us doing some actual welding. <laughs>